How are you guys doing? Welcome back to a, another video. So we have got ourselves Mike Maganan. Um, and yeah, uh, he's, well, I guess a lot of people love uh, Courtois because of his heroics, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think statistically, um, and I guess if you watch Serie A, you would know um, how good this guy's been this year. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by his rating though. I definitely expected his card to be higher rated. Uh, especially how they've kind of progressed, uh, you know, progressively juiced the team of the seasons. Um, I'm surprised he's, you know, I, what, every team of the season goalkeeper was, what, 95? LaFont was 94. Um, so, yeah, 92 for Magnan I think is a bit unfair. But, um, yeah, this guy didn't like his winter wild card personally. I thought it was pretty bad. But, yeah, you can definitely feel an improvement. This guy definitely feels like a team of the season goalkeeper. Um, something I do want to say. You guys know how much I hate recording uh, during the day, which I'm doing right now. Um, so you guys know with the background noise. Also, my neighborhood is whack. Um, like earlier, there was this really weird dude. Um, he was walking his dog. Um, you know, he's like looking backwards. He turned around head first into a light post. Uh, light post. And yeah, I guess he got really mad. He punched the light post, which isn't necessarily the most intelligent thing to do, I guess. But that, that hurt him. And then he starts screaming and arguing uh, with the light post. So very interesting guy that that's what my neighborhood is so um yeah it always sounds like a prison you know you just hear screaming all the time outside so yeah my point is if you hear noises um that's that's it i'll try to filter it of course like i always try to do but um yeah if you hear something i do apologize that's that's kind of the reasoning so uh yeah magnan the the one thing i do want to say is starting out after using them first couple games maybe a few games I thought this guy was going to be, ho you know, hopeless. Um, I won't lie with you. Um, I thought, you know, you, you can kind of see from how a keeper plays when they're very prone, very vulnerable to mistakes and, like, consistent games where they drop, like, a disaster class, you know, 4.0, 5.0. Um, but, yeah, this guy definitely improved after the first few games, um, and I was really impressed. Um, also, please excuse the really bad defending. I know you guys always are clowning me on that like the defending is really bad here i know it's like div 10 quality um but still all that matters is you know the the actual goalkeeper himself so yeah the the thing that i think is unique about magnan is how balanced he is there wasn't really anything that i can think of that really stood out that was weak on this card you know he, he's generally pretty good in all areas uh, which is, I think, really important for, for a goalkeeper. So um, the one place I do want to start with is the reaction saves. Um, some of the saves he made from point-blank range, um, you know, with little time to react, he's able to get his body, some part of his body in front of it. So I thought that was really, really impressive. Very good off one-on-ones. Um, but yeah, you know, with the, the rebound, like how the ball bounces around in the box, um, and then you're like, you know, oh, shoot, I'm going to get scored on. This guy is able to make you, you know, make some huge, huge saves for you um, occasionally, you know. So, um, yeah, he's only got in game 82 reactions, but he does have the 94 reflexes. And yeah, for one on ones, I did notice, uh, well, to be fair, I said, you know, he doesn't really necessarily have a weakness, but maybe if I was to say in terms of shot selections, maybe the chip uh, he was a bit um, shaky on. And when I did play him, I did notice. Uh, I was able to expose that area, but, um, you know, he's very good, quick off his line, 70 speed, and yeah, he makes himself big, you know, he closes down that angle uh, for, of course, the attacker to kind of, I guess, aim for, um, but yeah, very good when it comes to close range, those reflex, those reaction saves, his diving also really good, especially if you're really good with your goalkeeper movement, um, you know, if you're able to effectively do so. Um, he's also got some very good positioning, like the AI positioning. He's got 93. Um, so I did notice in a lot of instances as well uh, where the ball was kind of struck. It seemed like, you know, right at him, but it's because of his positioning. He's very intelligent. Um, so, yeah, I really like that about this card. Um, and then the, yeah, the diving. I did notice we're a bit, I guess, unorthodox, but, you know, he gets across very quickly has some very good reach and you know I'd say pretty reliable when it comes to those across goal strikes um, and then you have the 93 kicking distribution I thought was pretty good um, I don't think he has the long throw trait um, but he has that driven 
pass, which I like. You know, it's not that lofted one that, you know, kind of provides a 50-50. Um, so yeah, I think it's great. The parrying, oh, another thing, maybe a bit iffy. You know, he has he has some weird unorthodox, um, I guess, where he parries it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, his shot stopping I thought was really good. Um, and, you know, he's, he's a keeper that I felt like, which I haven't felt in a while, um, that can actually save you, make some big saves for you. So, um, yeah, it's definitely one I would recommend, some great links, and I'm sure you guys will see in your Foot Champs rewards. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend trying them out. So, yeah, that's going to be my video. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.